Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly do give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. I can truly say I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And we want to welcome you today to another broadcast of Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church, where I am the lead pastor, uh, District Elder, Pastor Frankie L. Quinn. And we certainly do thank God for uh, his mercy and his love and his, and his kindness. And the Lord has uh, blessed us to be elevated um, in our reformation to uh, Suffolk and Bishop Frankie L. Quinn. And we certainly do praise God for his elevation. We thank God for uh, our diocesan bishop, Bishop Clarence J. Turner. We thank God for him of the Nipane States Council. And um, we also praise God for the PCAF where the uh, lead bishop there is Lambert Wade Gates. So we also give God praise and glory for another day's journey. The Lord has woke us up this morning and he has literally started us on our way. So we want to uh, certainly delve into the word of God for this evening. Um, we have a word from the Lord and we want to talk today about your confidence. We want to talk today about your confidence. Uh, the scripture says, cast not away your confidence. Uh, as we begin to go before the Lord, in these particular days and times, we also want to pray for men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. And let us pray, pray, let us pray especially for those that may be grieving, those that may be going through in their spirit, their soul, and their body. And let us also pray for uh, those that need help and strength and deliverance and healing. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to stand here before these great people here on today to go into the Word of God. We pray, Lord, that you open up our understanding, grant clarity of thought and speech, and Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you bless us here on today so that we'll be your servants and that you'll be the light that is shining in this dark and evil land. Father, we thank you and praise you and give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. What a glorious day it is today. We certainly do once again praise God for it. Um, we're having a, a heat wave, and I'm going to tell you, I'm not sad about it. Uh, I like the heat, and um, I like um, summer. Summer is my favorite time of the year. And so we certainly do thank God that he's making it a glorious summer and a glorious opportunity to just give him thanks and give him praise for all things. As we get ready to go before our Bible study on today, um, I want you to turn with me uh, to the book of Hebrews, the book of Hebrews chapter number 10, Hebrews chapter number 10. And our base scripture today is Hebrews chapter number 10, verse 35. It says, cast not away your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Uh, the ability to be confident in adversity is huge. And the ability to withstand pressure while you're confident uh, is the way that God wants us to be at all times. This world, as you know, is not without ups and downs and turnarounds. And in them, God still wants us to be faithful. And it's important for us to maintain our confidence in God's ability, in God's plan, and in, to realize in serving God and in worshiping God that we all have an opportunity an opportunity to do our very best. And uh, when we think about who we're serving, the God that created heaven and the earth, the God that is above all and in all and through all, and his son Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of lords and King of kings, who uh, 
the Lord has blessed us to be empowered by the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Uh, that, uh, uh, that dynamic power that we have access to, uh, we just don't have access to anything, but we have access to everything through our Creator. Uh, we ought to have the utmost confidence in our Creator, uh, who's never lost a battle, who knows all things, who uh, does all things according to His will. He's faithful, He's gracious, He's merciful, and He's patient, and He's enduring. So uh, when we begin to think about, and when we begin to, uh, in our own minds, to magnify the Lord in this respect, in our trials and tribulations, we should always give God the benefit of the doubt. Uh, we should always rely on his word where it says, there is no temptation that is taking you, but such as common to man. But notice, your God is faithful. We serve a faithful God uh, who won't suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able but with every temptation, with every trial, with every test, he has already made a way of escape for you so that you might be able to bear it, so you might be able to endure it. And it is with that type of confidence in our God that we should not cast away. And that word uh, cast away means to throw away, and that meaning something that has no value. Uh, it's, uh, I liken it unto uh, garbage. You, you, you have a candy bar and inside the candy bar you eat that which is valuable. You eat the candy and uh, there is, it's contained in a wrapper. And the wrapper is thrown away as though it has no value. And that's what we do sometimes with God. We, we like all the blessings and we are like all the, the, the amenities that God awards us. But in the time of trouble and in a time of hardship, uh, we oftentimes throw him away as, as though he were garbage, as though he was meaningless. God does not want you to uh, have that type of attitude or mentality with him. He doesn't want you to cast away your confidence or your, your, your highly thought out uh, uh, persuasion in him because he's able to give you a recompense of reward. And as we get into our Bible study on today, I'm, I'm very excited about it because I get to talk about some of the things that I love, uh, faith and confidence. It is with these types of scriptures that um, has allowed me, myself, and I <laughs> to persevere through hardship, to persevere through hard times. And that's what God wants us to do. God wants us to always remember him and remember his word and persevere in hardship and in hard times according to his word. Uh, over this uh, holiday weekend, uh, the, the 4th of July, um, my daughter was at the house and, you know, we were uh, doing some uh, various chores or getting things straightened out at the house and uh, I have given her assignment to uh, fill the water cooler and then uh, there was uh, something that leaked uh, on top of her head and um, uh, then she because she didn't like that, she stopped doing uh, the, the task that was assigned to her, which was to fulfill or fill the water cooler. And uh, I said to her, I said, you know, in the midst of uh, adversity and things that may happen to you in life, you don't give up on your task or you don't give up on your assignment. And I literally felt the Holy Ghost move from within when I said those words to her, and it was like quickening uh, spirit unto me. When we go through uh, difficult times and something unexpected may happen unto us, God does not expect us to give up on our assignment. God does not 
expect us to throw in the towel. He literally expects us to work through every issue and work through every problem until we achieve success. And uh, even in this uh, cycle which we're experiencing now, this pandemic, I've noticed that people and businesses uh, and churches are adapting. We have the ability to adapt to every circumstance and situation that we put our mind to. God does not want us to shrink or be courage less in the time of trouble, but God wants us to be bold and, and face our circumstances, face our, our demons, face our trials and tribulations with confidence in Him. And that's what I wanna talk about tonight, uh, being confident in your God, being confident in your God. And, and these scriptures that we're going to go over, uh, I hope that they will resonate with you as well and give you some strength in the midst of whatever you're going through. Uh, in, in the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter number 10, and verse 35, it says, Cast not away your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Then it goes on to say, ye have need of patience, that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. But that word cast away, as I said, it means to throw off as having no value. Don't cast away your confidence in God, your, your confident thinking in God, or your confident faith in God, uh, as though it has no value. Your confidence in God your belief in God, your hope in God has tremendous value. It has tremendous value. Why? Because you serve and we serve a God that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we're able to ask or think. I believe those scriptures on today. I believe those scriptures that God is able to take care of us. And if you're honest with yourself and look back even over your own life, you can see and recognize the handiwork of God in your life. God has never lost a battle. God has never given up on us. God has never given up on you. And that word confidence, that word confidence literally means a bold assurance of faith. Don't cast away your bold assurance of faith in God. Uh, you always should have hope in God. Uh, we say our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. We should hope in Christ. We should hope in our Savior. We should hope in our uh, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who gave his life for you and I so that we can be successful, so that we can live a successful life. Now, let me just say this in, in response to uh, what a successful life is. A successful life doesn't mean that you have all kind of riches and possess all kind of material things, but a true successful life is one that is dedicated to serving God. That's a true life that is successful. You love God and you love people and you serve at the pleasure of God to do his most perfect will concerning you. The scripture says that, uh, that we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, prepared unto good works. And that word workmanship, it has the connotation when you look it up, uh, meaning poetry. We are God's uh, uh, poetry in, in the sense that he created us and he designed us to be something very beautiful. And when we operate uh, concerning the will of God, we are like poetry in motion. And we are his workmanship. Uh, he designed us. Amen? To carry out his will and his purpose. When you understand that, uh, then all these other things don't compete against your mind. You can literally put into play Matthew chapter 6 and 33. 
Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. You can literally put God first if you're, if you're really truly to, uh, desiring to be successful. And because you put God first, you can have confidence, faithful confidence in his ability to uphold you. When uh, uh, the, the Lord said himself that when we have confidence in him, he make it not ashamed. He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. He will always uphold us to accomplish his most perfect will. So that word confidence means bold assurance of faith. And I like that word bold, meaning that it, 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 you can take it off the shelf and, and use it. You can uh, sit in the driver's seat and take it down the highway boldly with confidence. The word of God says, come boldly to the throne of grace uh, that you might obtain mercy and find help in the uh, grace to help in the time of need and in your time of trouble. Uh, what that scripture is really saying is that if you need help saved or sinner, doesn't matter who you are, because Jesus paid the price and opened up uh, the new and living way and broke down that middle wall of partition, uh, uh, which is to say the veil, which was representative of his flesh uh, when he suffered for us, when he was bruised for our iniquities. He, he literally opened up a way wherein we can come boldly uh, to the throne, to the what throne? The throne of God, so that we can obtain help, that we can obtain grace, so that we can find mercy to help us in our time of need. God wants to help you in your time of need. God wants to help you. He wants to help you at all times, but he wants to manifest his power and strength in you, especially in your time of need. Hallelujah. That's why we got to come boldly. Thank you, Lord. Come with confidence. Come with assurance. So that scripture says, when it says, cast not away your confidence, cast not away your bold assurance of faith in God and the work that he has done, the work that he has already established. Uh, what we're in uh, today, as far as I'm speaking of, as the body of Christ, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. He has already laid the foundation. He has already opened up the way. He has already done the work by which we are able to stand. Uh, when we come into Christ, the labor of our salvation, if you allow me to say it that way, has already been complete. The scripture says that we are saved by grace and that through faith in Jesus Christ. And Jesus, he alone, he, he I believe the report. Uh, I believe in the arm of the Lord, uh, that he was literally wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was laid upon him and with his stripes we are healed. I believe in the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that he died for my sins. And, and when I got baptized in his name, I was buried with him in baptism and raised to walk in the newness of life. I believe that he is the Messiah, the one that, that, that is the, the prophesied prophet and the prophesied king and the prophesied priest that should come to be a deliverer, not only to the Jews, but also to the Gentiles, that unto us a child is born, unto us a son has been given, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace, Everlasting Father, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. And I, I believe that that, that that work of salvation, that, that the Spirit of the Lord, when he was operating upon this earth, that the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. And, and because that Spirit was upon him, he was able to preach the gospel 
to the poor. He was sent to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive and the recovering of sight to the blind. And he literally set at liberty them that are bruised. To, and he preached the acceptable year of the Lord. And I, and I truly believe, I believe with all of my heart that, that all of the work of salvation is done and complete in Jesus Christ. And when we are in him, hallelujah, we become partakers of that salvation. When we accept him as our Lord and Savior, uh, uh, the scripture says, thanks be to God that giveth us the victory uh, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So therefore, I'm not going to cast away my confidence. And because I'm not casting away my confidence, you can, I can be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Meaning that your work that you do for God is not worth less. It's not, it's not faultless. It's, it has value. Thank you, Lord. And everything you do. Because God created you. He designed you. And as long as you operate in the will of God, doing God's will, it has value. My God, my God. Come on, give God a praise. I thank God for this anointing that is here in this place. So notice what it says. Uh, 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 Cast not away your confidence with have great recompense of reward. Now that word recompense of reward. Thank you, Lord. It literally means payment. God will always pay you or bless you for your efforts. Uh, the Bible says when it talks about faith, and it says it talks about God, uh, 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 faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And it talks about the elders by it obtained a good report. Then it says, he that cometh to God must first believe that God is and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. In other words, when, when you operate in faith and believe your God and diligently seek him, God will recompense. God will reward you. He will pay you that which is due. That's why the scripture says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Notice that word, workman. And when you put in the work, <laughs> hallelujah, God will bless you. When you do those things that are necessary, God will bless you. He will reward you. It goes off of his principles. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Hallelujah. So, so he says, don't sow sparingly uh, and you won't reap sparingly. Uh, uh, sow bountifully so you can reap bountifully. And your God wants you, he wants you uh, to be a partaker of all of his great and mighty blessings. In other words, everything that God created was for uh, Jesus Christ his son, and, and everything that Jesus has, we partake of in his inheritance. And uh, my God, some of the things that uh, we argue and fight over and get upset about, houses, cars, and land, and, 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 and whatever, thank you, Lord, those things are very minuscule and minute unto the Lord. It's his good pleasure to bless you. David realized it when he said, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and all they that dwell therein. Everything belongeth unto the Lord. And, and when we realize that, that, that uh, uh, God is, is our all in all, that he is our provider, our Jehovah Jireh, he is our, uh, 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 our sustainer. He never uh, lost a battle and he will keep thee in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Then we get that mentality, 
don't be anxious for nothing. Ah, uh, but 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 with confidence, with full assurance of faith, knowing that God will always supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, my God. So we want to move on, my Lord, my God. So that's what that word, he's a recompense of reward. God, if you stay the course, if you hold on, ah, my God, if you fight the good fight, God will bless you if you do your part uh, uh, because God has already done his part through Jesus Christ. But if you do your part by walking by faith and not by sight and being a hearer, not only a hearer, but a doer of the word, God will bless you if you endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, God will bless you. If you endure temptation, hallelujah, my God, 